Nerf this! Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Corey. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, uh, you know, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below. I do try my best to answer all those. And check out the description of my videos when you get a chance. I got lots of great links in there for you. I got a link to my Discord server if you want to hang out with me. I got links to WHF recruiting Discord servers if you're interested in joining the WHF family or just want some info on what's required to, to apply for that. We also got links to uh, WHF's live streamer, Carbon Fin. So check out his uh, Twitch. You know what I mean? Follow that and you'll get notifications when WHF wars are going on live if you want to hop on and watch those live so with that let's get into the video i'm gonna do a town hall 12 video today so i grabbed three town hall 12 attacks uh three star attacks from two of our latest wars and i didn't pick which attacks i was gonna do it just so happens that this is the attack that works the most often from what i've seen it's gonna be sui lalo uh, all three of these three stars are gonna be in the first one's gonna be a beautiful one by wise man uh on uh number one here from bangladesh he's actually gonna swag a heel at the end of this with that let's get right into these attacks so wise man's gonna start out with his uh sui portion Gets his king down with the baby dragon off to the right, just to cut in that side of the funnel. So now queen comes down behind. She's going to be able to pick off those archer towers behind that wall, along that line, while the king is out front tanking. So, going to have to pop his king pretty soon, coming in contact with the enemy king. We've already gotten two archer towers and a wizard tower down with these uh, level 60 heroes on this suicide mission. So King's going to go grab a bomb tower now. And the key part of this whole Sui, first of all, is huge. Wow, look at that. She goes in and grabs an air defense too. Um, she's actually going to pop her ability and get this Giga Tesla that is the town hall at the end as well. And another archer tower. So humongous value from the Sui. And anytime you're able to get the town hall or the Giga Tesla with that Sui, that's huge, huge, huge. Because that defense is crazy strong. It targets five at once. And then when it does go down, it makes a big boom really can take out a pack of hogs loons anything around it so really nice to get that taken out on the suey portion so with that he's just just mobbing this base got haste on the edge rage in the middle warden ability to get right through that base and look at this look how fast it was this guy had two max dragons in his cc and they're almost gone already um you know what i mean just with raged minions i think maybe one poison and there's one dragon left but honestly it's not it's just not fast enough to keep up with these loons this base is already wrecked he got such huge value with that suey and you know what i mean his loon drops and spells were on point this base was just like you blinked and the base is gone just crushes it even swags a heel right there in the middle you know somewhere in the middle of that crazy uh la loon there's also a skelly queen kill in there as well so I mean, it just happened so fast, man. He just absolutely overwhelmed the base. He had a, a freaking heal left over. Beautiful attack by Wise Man. With that, let's go into Sir Longsword's hit on number four. All right, so different base. So obviously, we're not going to be able to get the exact same Sui value. So he's he just kind of looking for the area where he's, he's going to get a good value out of. So... He goes with this open corner here on the left. He's going to be able to snag some defenses. And if you look at this CC range, he's actually going to be able to trigger and kill that enemy CC with his suicide heroes. So has two dra baby dragons in there, trying to keep them focused, trying to keep them from walking. And sure enough, two big dragons pop out, gets them both in a poison, and uh, probably end up popping his queen. Had to pop king already. He was getting close to range of that single. Pops queen, gets that CC taken care of. And at this point, all these buildings are just a bonus. She's going to grab another wizard tower as well. So here, let's pause it here because, man, I couldn't keep up with Wise's attack. If you look at what's left, um, they've definitely cut out a nice little chunk of the base. It's still not a path, though. You know what I mean? It's not a C or an L shape. So so doing like a rotational surgical lalo, probably not a good option. So what he's going to do is he's going to come in on this wide fat end this left and just just really, uh, really overwhelm it with kind of a, a spam lalo. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the name of the style, but I guarantee he knows, you know what I mean, exactly how many loons he's dropping where ahead of time before he brings those fingers down to get those drops done. 
So Hasten on the way in. Now used his he didn't he wasn't able to get the town hall with the suicide hero, so he did use his warden ability along with a rage so that he could get that taken out quickly and pops the warden ability so that, that giga bomb that goes off doesn't take out that massive pack of loons. So he even had a clone spell in there somewhere. I see some cloned loons running around the base as well. Now he's bringing in the blimp on the bottom side there, kind of direct targeting that area that's going to contain that last air defense and that single target inferno in there. So able to bring some fresh max loons in from the back side of the base just to really bring this home. Beautiful triple by Sir Longsword there. These attacks are crazy, man. So many things going on at once. These are such huge bases with so many troops and spells going on. This is not something that's easy to pull off. This is something that's very well practiced and requires a lot of skill. Uh, you know what I mean? Even down to the, even, even though it was, you know, kind of a spam Lalo deployment over there, there's so many different spells that are going down in in, in very rapid succession to get to get the result that these guys are getting. With that, let's go into our third attack. This one's going to be Sir Longsword on number two from the Reddit Omega War. Oh, let's get the replay going, huh? So it looks like the Sui's going to be coming down on the top side up there. It's a baby dragon and a loon in there to get that funnel cut. And Hero's coming down from noon down towards like uh, 9 o'clock there. They're going to take out three Teslas on their way in. And that queen's also going to go in there and pick up both of those wizard towers as well. You know, Wizard towers are a huge threat to loons. Um, you know what I mean? I don't care how many you put in one spot. The wizard tower, if they're in the same spot, can hit them all at the same time. You couple that with a red bomb, and oh my gosh, it can make a pack of loons disappear. So taking out two of those on an entry, huge value. So his queen does get the CC pulled, but she doesn't have enough health left to really take it out on her own. So he doesn't drop a poison yet. It would just be wasted. He's going to go ahead and lead in with the hound and poison that CC where it comes out to that first hound there. So once again, we have a really wide section of base left, not, not a thin path. So it's going to be like a, you know what I mean? More of a, a, oh my gosh, spam Lalo kind of deployment. So he gets that poison down on that enemy CC and their baby dragon's already gone. He's going to, you know, he dropped that skelly. By the time he dropped the skelly spell, the pups had already pretty much taken care of that enemy queen. Um, so she's not going to be a problem at all. Now he does have some He does have some clone loons down on the bottom right hand side. These attacks are so hard to keep up with, man. They're, they move so incredibly fast through the bases. So it's thinning out a little bit towards the end. He's actually got a huge pack of uh, lava pups in there that are doing some big work. He had like a single loon that clutched that last wizard tower on the bottom. That was a big deal. Like we mentioned earlier, wizard towers are a big threat to loons. So really nice he was able to get that taken out. You know, and they're also a huge threat to lava pups and minions, which he's got quite a few of those. They're the only thing left right now cleaning up this base. So that last lava pup manages to take out that last archer tower right there. Really sealing the win for him here. Just a matter of getting the base cleaned up at this point. So it's not it's not a, a coincidence, you know what I mean, that the three attacks that I had to show for 12v12 were all uh, Sui Lalos, you know what I mean? I'm thinking from what I've seen on, on a lot of the people's videos and what I'm seeing in our wars, I'm going to say this is definitely the strongest attack uh, to go in 12v12 right now you know what i mean if you're good at it so uh you know what i mean if you don't have your air fingers if you don't have the lalo skills i suggest you work on it because at the highest levels man um this is definitely definitely going to be the strongest attack with these level eight loons from everything i'm seeing is indicating that that is the number one attack 12v12 right now if you want to get three stars so you know what i mean there's some other stuff working yeah sure but just we're not seeing it nearly as much as we're seeing the sui lala work 12v12 so i hope you guys like the video and uh i'll see you in the next one nerf this